Um, so hi again. Um, Alex, co-founder of Native Studios and Create, uh, former profession uh, marketing strategist, uh, brand planner for many, many years. So I know a thing or two about uh, how brands want to communicate. Uh, then I launched a halfway successful marketplace, so learned a ton about uh, platforms and network effects or lack, th lack thereof. And so basically I'm going to put that into good use now with our company, Native Studios. Um, our product is called Create, and what we do is that we allow user-generated video at scale and on brand. So what does that mean? Um, I mean, we all know we live in the age of mobile video, user-generated video is all the rage. Uh, people love to consume it, people love to share it. Uh, it's so much more authentic, it's sometimes even viral, um, but most of the time it's for the user at least very painful because the users usually lack the skills that they need to create proper video that they want to share, that they feel comfortable sharing. Plus, at the same time, for brands and platforms, uh, I mean, they crave user-generated content. They know for its potential, uh, and they want to use it to illustrate inventory, to run their campaigns, to fuel their social channels and verticals. But due to the fact that users have such a hard time, they struggle to leverage the power of user-generated video in their contexts. And that's actually, that's where we come in. Because we're not a video editing tool. Yeah? We are actually a instant storytelling tool. And that's basically what that looks like. So um, the user downloads our app. It's free of charge for the user. And then you have a number of categories, actually, that you can choose from. And within these categories are templates, both branded and unbranded. In this case, for example, a branded one that we did with the uh, Studio Canal promoting their blockbuster Nerf. And the user opens the template and has a number of prompts that they just have to follow. Very simple, plus they see a timing that indicates how much time they've left. Taking them through a couple of takes and then they basically upload that video. It's being rendered in our video rendering service, played back to the user, ready to share. And that's what it looks like. It's a German case in this case, but uh, You'll get the idea, this is all revolving around challenges. And um, what you see here is the user content guided and then automatically edited and combined with the professional footage, in this case, trailer material, um, kind of like these uh, periscope effects and other stuff. And it's very formidable, uh, it's um, ready to share immediately via social and in the brand channel, or in this case, the vertical of the company. And um, so why is that a good thing? Um, for the user, obviously, it's a good thing because it's so much more comfortable for them to create content this way. They feel much more comfortable with the result. They, and they, as a result, feel ready to share it. In this case, we had close to, for, close to 50% actually uh, of the videos that were created were shared on social and on the platform. Um, about 5,000 videos were created by users, even though this was our immediate launch case and we didn't have any in-app reach at that point. Um, so it really um, struck a nerve with the uh, Generation Z and Generation Y, and kids are really happy about it. Plus, there's a ton of other use cases. Uh, think about real estate platforms, think about uh, car marketplaces, etc. all there. You need um, user-generated video to illustrate the inventory. Uh, and the brand profits from a low threshold, so it's easy for the user to participate, consistent results, and the brand is integrated natively. We charge, on the other hand, a setup fee to create these templates and uh, launch them, and then we get on top a performance fee per video created, uh, so that we profit from uh, some organic or even viral effects. So um, basically we are seeing, after a few cases, we're seeing uh, initial product market fit, um, both from the user um, side as well as from our sales perspective. So um, we've launched a number of initiatives um, after Studio Canal uh, with uh, the likes of Glossybox and Jochen Schweitzer, which is an experienced broker, uh, but also we were part of the uh, yeah, unfortunately unsuccessful um, campaign for Hillary. Uh, where we allowed supporters to show their support for Hillary and say why she's the better choice. Anyhow, um, we're a good team. Um, we have uh, both uh, mobile backend developers in-house and um, besides me, myself, with the marketing profile, um, we are, um, also have some, some professional storytellers on board who are very experienced when it comes to uh, creating video, telling stories via film. 
Um, we have some strong initial user traction even after the first cases. So we have around 100K installs um, and strong retention in app already with zero marketing invest. So that's only reach that we got via, pro, via our partners for free. Um, and what's next? Basically building on that framework that we've established consisting of the client, um, the cloud service and the interface where we basically set up these templates. We're going to scale, um, scale first by integrating our client uh, into existing app ecosystems. Yeah? So we don't have to ramp up all the uh, in-app reach ourselves. So we're in talks with some, uh, some media companies um, thinking about how we can integrate, uh, but also potentially integrating into um, the likes of Facebook Messenger, WeChat, etc. Um, second thing is that building on this template interface that we have, uh, we're gonna open that up for other creators being agencies, being brands or platforms so that they can launch their user-generated video campaign themselves, which obviously helps us to shorten our sales cycle and uh, my presentation. So, and the third thing is that uh, we're gonna tap into content streaming and licensing because we create, obviously, a ton of user-generated content and that we can then share and license out to brand partners um, and uh, do a revenue share with the user. So, that's about it. We're building uh, the leading platform for branded user video and um, yeah, we're fundraising and if you want to talk, please approach me. Thank you very much.